on Crystal Park. You're tuned in to In The Loop. Today our guest is the director of Montgomery County Public Libraries, Parker Hamilton. Parker, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Um, Parker, you've worked in many different libraries throughout your career. What makes public libraries in particular special? Because we reach all the residents of a particular county, a particular community. We are the gathering space. We are a trusted um, first stop for folks who want information. So I think public libraries are the uh, equalizer of information and services, and um, we connect with all. Well, you have served at the head of the Montgomery County Public Libraries for about 10 years now. And during that tenure, uh, what kind of innovations has Montgomery County Public Libraries implemented to make their system up to date and one of the best in the country? First of all, um, let's add two more years to the 10 years. 12 years, okay. 12, 12 years, and it's been exciting um, 12 years because we had um, a lot of challenges, um, budgetary challenges, and because of the introduction of technology, and because the demographics of this county have changed, we had to evolve um, in order to be relevant to all of the residents of Montgomery County. So with the technology, with the um, demographics, we have added workforce development programs. We ensure that we complement what is happen happening at Montgomery College as well as the public schools. And, and we believe that our customers define what public libraries should look like and be. If we decided that we wanted to do a program or a service and we did not do our job by talking to the community and we invested, say, $500 and um, brought in a guest speaker, and one person came up with that program, we didn't do our job. Have you found that the residents of this county have been very communicative with you guys and been um, an integral part of developing the library system here? Absolutely. We um, did a uh, summit. Mr. Leggett had a um, library summit of the future about two years ago. And prior to that, he had um, one, I think it was like 2009. So we believe that we need to hear from our residents and not hear from the people who are smart and know how to communicate with county. We want to hear from those new residents, people who are new to having their voice heard. And so we go out to the community. We have outreach workers. We use technology in order to talk to our residents on the street. All of our branches have what we call a library advisory committee, and those are members from the community to advise the agency manager about what is happening in the community and what they believe would be the best programs and services for that branch. And then I, in turn, have a library board and they advise me on behalf of the entire county. We're very fortunate in Montgomery County to have a Friends of the Library group, and so with the Friends of the Library, Montgomery County, their chapters, with the Library Advisory Committee, the Library Board, and our doing an intentional outreach to the residents of this county, I believe that we're hearing all voices. I discovered probably about five years ago that we were making decisions based on a very small group of people who did not look like the residents of Montgomery County, and we needed to turn that around. And I think we've been very successful in turning that around. Parker, you briefly mentioned this, um, but you know, technology and the electronic age is is upon us, and. Mm -hmm. For a lot of the younger generations, um, you know, going to the library and picking out a book is, is now a foreign concept to them. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to evolve with the technology so that um, libraries aren't just for, you know, books? People still read hardcover books, mm -hmm. but uh, how have you been able to uh, meld the two, the technology that has quickly evolved in our society mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the libraries? Right. Um, giving people what they want. 
I mean, we have one of the most robust Wi-Fi in all of our branches throughout Montgomery County. Uh, we know that there are residents who do not have Wi-Fi at home. They come to the public libraries for that. We know that we have residents who do not have a computer at home. They come to the library for that. And, and to be clear, it's just not the teens. Uh, we have senior citizens who are coming to our libraries to learn how to use an iPad, to learn how to do FaceTime, and um, who are seeking second and third careers. And we help them become comfortable with that technology, and then we take them to the next step in learning. So I think there's a marrying of print books and electronic resources in order to ensure that, again, people can see themselves in our library. I believe that our residents are investors in this big company, and they want to see a return on their investment. And so whether it's technology, whether it's print books, I'm committed to giving that return on their investment back to them. Well, Parker, part of the reason why we wanted to talk to you is that we're celebrating your 12-year tenure as director, um, but you are looking at greener pastures in the very near future. You're going to retire soon. Um, what would you say, looking back now, what is your most proud accomplishment as director of Montgomery County Public Libraries? I think it's bringing the community together to support Montgomery County Public Libraries. When, when I became director, um, it was kind of um, not everyone looking out for the system. For example, communities looked out for their own library. And so when it come t came time for funding, it was, you know, you need to fund my library. And I went out to our advocates, to the people who supported us, and basically said, I need your help because we're stronger if we're one. And so being able to bring the communities together behind one Montgomery County Public Library Systems, going to the council, going to Mr. Leggett and advocating for Montgomery County Public Library Systems have impacted all branches in a very positive way. And I don't think we would have been able to do that if we had continued to advocate as individual communities. The University of Maryland recently created a scholarship in your name. Can you tell us a little bit about the scholarship? What, what is um, the, the, the particular name of the scholarship and who is eligible and what does the scholarship offer? Well, this is all new to me. This was quite a surprise and quite an honor. I don't know much about it. I do know that um, it's the B. Parker Hamilton Scholarship for Inclusion and Innovation. And so it represents the work, my commitment to um, serving the residents of, of this county. Um, I understand that it's not going to be a whole lot of money, so anyone who wants to donate to make it more money, that would be great. But um, it will be an opportunity for library science students who would like to enter public libraries, who believe in diversity, who believe in innovation and inclusion to get a little bit of money to help them achieve their goals and objectives. Well, uh, speaking of that, uh, in terms of the next generation and the incoming, um, what words of wisdom would you have for the incoming director who, who would take your spot? I would tell her to get to know the community, um, become a collaborator with the community, do not feel as if he or she must do it all, one of the things I'm really proud of is, is the collaborations I've formed with nonprofit organizations, with other departments, because at the end of the day, we're serving the same people. And so working with McHale, working with Gandhi Brigade, working with the Kidney Museum, the Department of Health and Human Services, the public schools. One of the things that we're able to do with the public schools that we have a program is called Library Link. And every student in Montgomery County Public Schools will have an opportunity to get a library card. 
and then we will introduce them to the programs and resources that we have, especially in the area of STEM. So I think um, recognizing and understanding that you can't do it by yourself, and at the end of the day, we're doing it for the residents of Montgomery County, so why not collaborate and partner with other organizations? We have a great partnership with the Jack and Jill chapter of um, Potomac. Uh, for the past eight years, they've donated diverse books to our system. That has helped us, and um, so we have to do it together. Yeah. Parker, what would you like to see Montgomery County Public Libraries accomplish in the next few years? How, what would you like to see once you've stepped away? What would, what would make you happy to see MCPL accomplishing? I want all of our meeting rooms to be smart. By that I mean that I want um, business people to come in and use our space in order to pitch a business plan, to do Skype. I would like to see us continue the pilot of not charging fines for children's materials. That is a barrier to um, families using our libraries. We have had um, cases where parents have gone to the circulation desk and they have discovered that they have had have fines on their records and they've said to the child, you have got to put the books back because I not, cannot pay this fine. We cannot have that in Montgomery County. So I would like to see that continue. I would like to see more contemporary conversations and programs that um, people your age uh, will want to come and, and attend. I want to see us out in the community more. Um, I would like for OHR, Office of Human Resources, to help us find a way to really um, hire people um, of diverse backgrounds. We, we talk about having a pool of people who are diverse. At some point, we need to understand that in order to get people who look like the residents of this county, we probably need some stronger recruitment tools that, that we can put in place. I would like to see um, a team coordinator. We do a lot of work with the Positive Youth Initiative. I think we need to have a team coordinator in the library system, just like we have a workforce development coordinator, just like we have um, an early literacy coordinator. I would like to see more libraries open on Sundays. I would like to see longer hours at some of our libraries. A long list of a long uh, hopes. list of, 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 <laughs> of wishes, and um, you know, Mr. Leggett has been a great leader, and in terms of um, library services and, and programs, and um, unfortunately, we had a recession, and and I think we're all um, doing better work, better services as a result of that recession because you had to make tough decisions, you, you had to prioritize, and I think. Generally speaking, the library system has ended up in a very positive way um, as a result of having to make those tough decisions. We had to talk to our investors. We had to talk to the residents. And, and I think we're, um, we're known as a very progressive library system. We have won a number of awards because of our programs and services. Uh, being a director is a very complex job. Yes, it's, and we thank you for yeah, your it's service. Very, it's a very complex job, but I think together we're able to give the residents what's relevant for them. Well, Parker Hamilton, thank you so much for your 12 years as Director of Montgomery County Public Libraries. Our guest today has been Parker Hamilton. I'm Crystal Park, and you've been watching In the Loop. <laughs>